What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally completed the Grand Trial, and, uh, yeah, the good-looking, mm, 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 Olivia. Yeah, she was there. She was there to, uh, battle me and all that stuff. Mm. Okay, so in the next one right here, we need to fly back to the Grand Resort because there, uh, there is a little something-something that we need to do right there, and, yeah, Joker finally evolved into its final form, Pre-Marina. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and locate that red flag. And we need to go right there, the Hano Grand Resort. So, let's see. I think... I think the adventure is going to be... It's going to be something right there. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and fly back right here into the Royal Avenue. Just to make it a so much more easier for us right here. And look at that. Charizard, or Godzilla Godzilla, coming from Kanto. Mm -hmm. And here we are, back into the Royal Avenue now. I kind of need to heal my Pokemon right here. That would be great. That uh, That is awesome right there. So here we go, healing up our Pokemon. We're looking at a pretty nice team right here. I kind of feel like it's a nice, nice team right there. So, okay, so that's that. Now that we've won another... another uh, well, actually... I thought that we were going to get something else right here, but now we can actually buy a little bit more items right here, so I, don't, I really don't think we need anything else. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and get the H out of here and go straight to the Grand Resort now. So all we need to do is, let's see. Where, oh, where, oh, where? Where, oh, where, oh, where do we need to go now? Oh, yes, we need to go, let's see. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm being like... I'm like, I'm trying to, like, I'm just playing around right here, but uh, we have to go right here. Going into our good old bike. And I was wrong. Okay, so we need to get the heck out of here. That's right. Oh, wow. Nearly crashed into that guy. Didn't even see where he was at. And there we are. And now we're just going to be heading all the way down right here. Now, back then, we couldn't go into the area because, uh, what was it? What was it that... It was preventing us. It was some guy that was looking area, like nook and cranny for items. But here we are, guys. We're in the Hano Grand Resort, and well, we're gonna get off this Tauros right here. And let's see. The next stop is where that red flag is at, and well, we gotta go right here. And as you can see, we're gonna be going into the hotel, seeing what's up right there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so look at that. Oh my god, we got Hawaii and everything in there, and uh, would you look at that. I think we saved this guy before. Never introduced himself, so he's like, So, you come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you some uh, some place outstanding, right? Well, that wondrous place is the Aether Foundation, or pa Paradise. Let me tell you about the Aether pa Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether, is, uh, Aether Paradise is a ver veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting, the, for, for the protecting of Pokemon. I think it's supposed to be the protection of Pokemon, I don't know. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I pr uh, I will prove to you that I uh, that all I've told is the absolute truth of with a tour of the Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a free trip somewhere where we don't know. You know, we might find out. Might you know start up some stuff right here. Good, good. Then you will. Uh, then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, come on, man. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia, Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all my trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I have uh, gotten any. I've never even been got, gotten married. Well, look at me, man. Look at me. I'm right here. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech at the Aethers uh, developing, and you tell me later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you in the next island. Oula Oula Island, yeah. Then let's meet up at Melee Garden. 
Yep, it's a good, uh, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want, huh? Then let us enjoy the adventure upon us, the, the, that grand vessel that will take us across this, uh, the high seas. By which I mean, well, by, by which I mean to say the ferry. Okay, all right, all right, okay, cool, all right, that's cool. Okay, so here we are in the next, uh, the, the boats right here. And how is like, can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding up, uh, holding it up. Did you know that, Draven? Uh, no, I really didn't know that. Knew I could count on you to react. Well, nah, well, uh, actually, oh, I can't wait to actually see inside the Aether Paradise for myself. Me too. Me too. Alrighty. So we're going to the Aether Paradise. And uh, ships a ho, ships a go. And uh, look at that. We are heading straight to the man made paradise, which is the Aether Paradise right there. Tiny, tiny island. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So, uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, we're there yet. Okay, alrighty. Well, would you look at that? It's in, it's in a garage somewhere or something? Here we are, you two. This is the Aether Paradise. Oh, wow. Pokemon are going up and down. I still think Sudowoodo should be like a fossil Pokemon because it's supposed to be a fossilized Pokemon, right? Right. And how is just amazed. Everybody's amazed. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Outstairs or downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Okay, all right. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within the Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is uh, broadcast throughout the facility to prevent from, from prevent them from functioning. Huh. So. Oh wow, okay, so that, that pretty much gives him like a an advantage right here, I guess. And who is this? Who is this? And excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of the of address? I have a I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now, I must speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these ch uh, these children around. Show these children around and take them to meet the President as well. Oh, okay, all right. We're going to get a nice tour right here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Eh, yeah, whew. Well, who are you? Welcome to the Aether Paradise, Draven and Howe. My name is Wick. Alola. Alola. <laughs> Wait, you know who you who, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting at Akala Island, and of course, I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there. Too young, Mister Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above, up above us. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, well, so we're gonna be going up here and shall we zip right up there? Yes, we will. Okay, let's go right up there and see what it's all about. Alrighty, okay, so what is this? This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Oh, wow. Okay, Rockruff and Pikachu right there. Draven, you and how are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am, I think. When really I'm 31. 31 years old, young. Yeah, I took the first chance and I had to join in the island chance once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How, how I love you for you. 
I suppose all children must learn or must yearn to take a journey of their own, choosing when they get to be your, about your age. Though you are hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Draven, how? Would you like to see the con conservation area upstairs? Sure, we'll zip right up. You're gonna be zipping right up right here. Let us see what it's all about right now. And... Oh. 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 It is a safe haven for Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the air conservation area. This place looks familiar. Wow! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here, and we also uh, try to support Pokemon in it that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by Pokemon called to Toxapex. Toxapex, huh? I hope you don't mind if we, if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Oh look, it's a it's a Corsola. Oh. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got a cool side, sure as it gives me uh, gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all Pokemon that are out there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nature does have, have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why did you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet the president, Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area right now. All right, let's go find her. Let's go see. Let's see. Let's see what's all about and stuff. But doesn't this place look a little too familiar, guys? Just a little too familiar. I mean, shoot, it's just a little familiar. And well, let's go right ahead and see what this place is all about. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be battling anybody. And wow. Okay, so yeah, we're walking around. See what this person's talking. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about like this. If you visit a tropical region, you can get a tan, right? Isn't that something like that? That's a good metaphor right there. And, well, let's see. Really isn't nothing right here except just a big old square. But look at all these Pokemon right here. And this place, yeah. If you see, if you take a look at this place, it's the same place we met Lily in the beginning. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you my, with my love. Question mark, huh? Ah. That looks like a towel. It really does. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at her. You must be Draven and Hal. Welcome to the Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please call me Lusamine. I am so glad we got to meet. I'm glad that there are people like you who, do, who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. That is, and that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how how you do this, how, how you do all of this. You're not, like, even much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. Well, I'm, you know what they call those women over 40? Milfs. Yeah, buddy. You are? Mm, 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 mm. That's a milf right there. Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style that does wonder you know. Or the, the right style does wonder you know. And how your style is a bit wa wanting. Mm -hmm. I'll have to take you out sometime and uh, help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like, what do you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off the kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, wow. Okay, Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. Would uh, trust me. Children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to adults around them.
Whoa. What is that? That tremor. Did something happen on our lower floors? God, it is an evil jellyfish. Holy crud. Did you come from another world? Brr, brr, brr. Okay, I don't even know what that Pokemon is, but that's scary. Miss Lucy, mean, stand back. That thing's not right. Maybe it is. Huh. You poor creature. Okay, so the Pokedex saying, yeah, I've never seen a Pokemon like that. You're really gonna have to fight that thing. Okay, so what kind of Pokemon is this? I've never seen this one before, honestly, guys. Well, I'm obviously playing a little part right here, but I feel like it's a water type. So let's go ahead and switch it out and see what this guy can do right here. And, well, let's see. Burr. Hmm. Well, here we go, guys. We're going to be battling this thing. Oh, wow. And a question mark has appeared. And it's turning Ultra Instinct right here. Or Super Saiyan God. I don't, I don't even know, but good gravy. Alrighty, so its name is question mark level 27. What the heck kind of Pokemon is this? All right, here we go. Thundershock not super effective, but here comes a Venoshock. So that right there gives gives it away that it's a it's a poison type Pokemon. So let's go for a psychic type attack right here. And that right there hits it where it hurts and there it goes. Question mark has fainted. Puka grows to level 36, and, well, everybody else is growing levels, including Terra Ruff. Drago grows to level 24, and, well, that right there was, uh, that, 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 that right there was odd, and, well, oh, wow, it's fading. Oh, jeez. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lucimine, did you say something? Oh, wow. That cannot be good. That smile cannot be good. Even though it's kind of turning me on a little bit. Still, it could not be good. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like it painted, like I painted it to uh, be in this in this strange place. I can't bear to see it, see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. That's scary. That is very scary right there. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Wick. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, are they? Please deliver them back to the next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check. I will. I will go check that none of your uh, poor resident Pokemon come uh, to any harm, and I will speak to Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for the newest and perhaps greatest duty yet: the protection of the Ultra Beast. Huh? The Ultra Beast. Pretty interesting, and you know, the smile is pretty weird, but okay. I'll see you two to the Ula Ula Island then. I'm keeping my eyes on you, mother in law. I'm keeping my eyes on you. How you are too happy for your own good, man. You really are. I never thought I'd actually get to see an ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this uh, next time we see her. 
I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you two do so. Anyway, I was very glad to meet you two, but or meet the both of you. Please take this as you remember to, to visit. Some uh, malasadas for how? Oh yeah, he's got some malasadas. Yes, big malasadas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with some with someone else? <laughs> yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Draven, I ATM ATM for the move Psychic. Well, I don't really need it much, but you know it's always nice to have right there. You know, for other Pokemon, you know that kind of stuff. And well. I hope that both of you have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Bye bye. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. And me just standing like a fool right there, not doing anything, just standing like a fool. Huh. <sighs> My heart's still kind of racing, you know. The Ultra Wormhole is real, the Ultra Beasts are real too. The world is just way too big! I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too! We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in! Oh wow, he is uh... <laughs> he is stuffing himself pretty good right there. Good god, okay. You want a masa malasada? And well, I guess I'm eating. Ah, so good! Shoot, I already ate through the whole thing. And just like that, we're heading into the biggest island right here. Ula Ula Island. Ula Ula. I love saying that. Ula Ula. Well. Would you look at that. Oh my god. Pelippers are right here. This place is looking like a real nice place. Land ahoy! All right, terra firma under foot again. Man, this guy has lots of energy. <laughs> Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place from than Mila Mila and Akala, huh? I've got an idea, Draven. Let's have a battle. Sure, let's go right ahead. I want my Pokemon to get deep breath to to get a deep breath of the, this fresh air now. Don't worry, I'll make sure that both our teams are in fighting form first. Oh wow, he's okay. What a good friend. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're gonna be battling our rival slash friend How again, and he still has three Pokemon right here, and he is coming out with his very own Raichu. Good gravy. So it's a Puka versus Puka battle right here, and yeah, okay. So that's not really gonna work for me. Let's go with Terra Rough right here. Terra Rough. Let's go, Terra Rough. Hopefully you won't get affected by that Psychic Attack. Oh, crud baskets. So there you go, Psychic Attack. Hits Terra Rough pretty hard. Good gravy. Messes up my Pokemon. So let's go straight to Joker right here. Now, in the last episode, you guys already know, Joker has evolved. So let's go right ahead and go with an Ice Beam right here. Hopefully it freezes it. And yes, this guy is a little faster than us. Really messes us, messing us up right now, and our special defense has gone down. So, here we go. Ice Beam does some good damage right there. So, let's go for one more Ice Beam attack. And, yeah, that right there hits us hard. So, here we go again. Ice Beam for the win. And there goes Raichu. Not feeling so happy about that. And, well, more experience points for all of us. Dumb Truck grows to level 33. And, well, he's coming out with a Leafeon. So let's go straight for Inferno Blade. Haven't seen you in a few episodes. And, well, there we go. Inferno Blade right here. And here comes his Leafeon. All right. Time to take care of business right here with a little bit of a flame charge. But this guy's coming out with his goddamn quick attack. So here we go. Oh, yes. Flame Charge does it. And, well, you know what? Screw it. 
Let's go for everything. Let's destroy this guy. Inferno Overdrive. And here comes a quick attack yet again, you asshole Pokemon you. Here we go, using the pose. Time to destroy Leafeon. Now, am I using this a little too quickly? Probably. But, you know, I'm here to embarrass how, just like I do with Hop. So here we go, Inferno Overdrive for the win. Bam! And there goes Leafeon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. And Drago grows a level 25, wants to learn Headbutt. So let's go ahead and take away Protect. Don't need that anymore. There we go. And there we go. Okay, okay. Alrighty, okay. So coming out with this Tora cat so let's go right ahead and go back to Joker right here and hopefully we're fast enough to just do this shit so here we go Tora cat looking all mean and everything and well let's see let's see I'm going to heal my Pokemon there's no need to actually make it faint or anything but let's go with the Moo Moo Milk Let's go with the Moo Moo Milk right here for Joker, and there we go. Joker is now all healed up. Go ahead, do your worst. So here comes a Fire Fang. Not much of a, well, not effective. So let's go with its new move right here, Sparkling Area. And of course, we're the slowest Pokemon. We're always slow, God damn it. Here we go, Sparkling Area for the win. Oh, yes. Torcat has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, Joker has uh, grown to level 35 and Inferno Blade as well. And there goes How, And he's like, bah! I had my breath held the whole battle. Oh, wow. It's a long-ass battle, man. It took a long time for you. So... Just like that, we're going to get another evolution, and that is Inferno Blade finally evolving. This right here is, you know, you know, Pokemon that I've wanted in Pokemon X and Y. Cha couldn't do it because, well, the team that I already had, but it's a good fit right here for my Pokemon Sun and Moon team. And look at that. Talon Flame has been, well, unleashed right here. Oh, yes. All right, time to complete that Pokedex right here. And bam, Talon Flame. It's a pretty damn good name, guys. Very damn good name. Talon Flame. Hot diggity, look at you. You're on firepower, partner, I should say. You filled the, all the Pokedex on a single page. It's like we're playing bingo over here. So here we go, Talon, uh, Talon Flame, the scorching Pokemon. It zooms directly at its prey at flight speeds of close to 310 miles per hour. While fiery embers scatter from gaps in its feather. Oh, wow. It's a scary Pokemon that you don't want to get attacked. It's, that's a death chicken. Pretty much a death chicken, guys. You don't want that. Okay, so... I was like, bah! That battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where is it? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why'd he want us to go to the garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Probably. And, well, Rotom's coming out. He's like, you've made it to Ula Ula Island, big boy. This means a whole new island Pokedex. That's all up to you what new Pokemon you want to uncover, Draven. Well, that is so true. So, we're going to pause right here, guys. That was a pretty damn good episode. In the next one, we're going to see what happens in the uh, Garden of Eden right there. And, uh, well, hopefully no trouble comes and happens or anything like that. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.